But she talks about the fact that though you may be forgiven, the scars remain. And uh, she warns ministers in particular that uh, though God may forgive them over and over again, they're gradually weakening themselves, gradually becoming more and more scarred. And this is not punishment, this is consequence. And uh, the fact that so many of the unpleasant things that happen to us are consequence of our own doing is stressed all through scripture. Now sometimes it isn't consequence of our own doing. We have to be discerning. With Job, it was the adversary at work. Because God says, there's a perfect man. So troubles can come for various reasons. But certainly with Solomon and David, the point you make is so clearly demonstrated, very painfully, that though God was always there, was so gracious and so willing to take them fully back in the end, they weren't the men they were before. They didn't have the energy, um, the capacity, they were tired and weak, and yet God graciously used them. So, um, when one sins, one does not need to be afraid of God, but to be afraid of the consequences that naturally result. That's certainly pointed out all the way through. Well, I won't take time to look those up, the marvelous comments she makes. It's all so reasonable. It's just the opposite of, of arbitrary.